Hi, welcome to our new episode of Quick Understanding of Autonomous Driving. I'm Magnus, Algorithm Engineer at Deepbrow.ai. Today I'll talk about the infrastructure module of autonomous driving and how it guarantees safety, stability, and sustainability of the vehicle. Infrastructure lays the foundation for all the modules of the autonomous driving. It is like the backbone structure that establishes a smooth, highly efficient framework and provides stable support for technology and data. FAC perception, planning, and control modules make the vehicle to move around. The infrastructure is working behind the scenes to assure level 4 capabilities. So how does infrastructure perform its duties in autonomous driving? First, algorithmic dispatching and operating system. When an autonomous car is driving on the road, every second every module is transmitting and distributing data at gigabit level. This requires a consistent operating system to dispatch efficiently to achieve a stable and low latency transmission of multitudes of data. In the meantime, different modules have different computing needs, so we need to allocate and dispatch rationally to avoid overuse or underuse of resources. We also need to monitor, warn, and record more functioning cases accurately. So in general, operating system ensures software stability and steadily replicates problems to help engineers to pinpoint and root problems and resolve it. Second, simulation system. Simulation system is constructed to simulate real-road tests to train and evaluate the feasibility of the algorithm and the stability of R&D testing tools. It's like car racing video games when the players in the car controlled by autonomous driving algorithm and traffic lights, weather, other uses in the game, etc. are simulated. So the algorithm is evaluated when you can pass through each level of the game. Statistical data shows a self-driving car that drives 60 billion kilometers, which is 20,000 round trips from the Earth to the Moon, requires one vehicle 20,000 years to run non-stop at 80 kilometers per hour speed. It is mission impossible if we only rely on real-world road tests. However, with simulation system, a vehicle can run million kilometers every day. This is a huge time and cost saving. Safety risks on actual road are not able to be identified one by one in a short time, just like what's beneath the tip of the iceberg. Simulation, however, can generate a bulk of road data like congestion, heavy rain and fog, especially long tail events with high risks and unpredictable scenarios like reckless driving by a drunk car. Simulation system can rehearse these scenarios anytime to validate and improve the algorithms, so it will be ready when such rare cases happen in the real world. For the new algorithms, simulation can provide feedback in a quick and efficient manner, avoiding potential risks brought by experimental new algorithms. In a nutshell, simulation system and actual road test together is a good combination. The third function of our infrastructure is constructing and maintaining operation management platform. When it comes to fleet commercialization, taking passengers and goods, you will need a complete operation management platform to dispatch vehicles, checking orders, and vehicle status, etc. For companies providing autonomous mobility services, infrastructure module also needs to build a customer-facing platform to perform duties like right hailing customer services. A visual platform is also built by infrastructure module to show operation data graphically, like traffic lights, pedestrians, other vehicles, obstacles, etc on the in-vehicle display, and other confirmation itinerary checks on the HMI. This customer-friendly interface can provide customer care and better writing experience. Aside from those core functions, infrastructure also supports toolchain definition and development, standard library maintenance, software in-loop and hardware in-loop, etc. We're always there whenever other modules need them. The reliability and stability of the infrastructure defines the efficiency of R&D tests and customers' writing experience. Deepbrow has a sound infrastructure design and rigorous code reviews to provide solid guarantee of technology development and commercialization operations. Our infrastructure also provides well-rounded support from overall framework, process refinement to tool enhancement, etc. We grow robustly in less than three years now operating a fleet of over 100 vehicles and road tests in Shenzhen, Hangzhou, Wuhan, with over 3 million kilometers. 
It, it is the extensibility and flexibility of our infrastructure that supports the ever-growing data volume in R&D and commercialization. The progress of autonomous driving is a process of exploring the unknown boundaries. If there is a fake officer directing traffic, how will it handle? The volume beneath the tip of the iceberg is new and familiar to us, which in turn motivates us to consistently build a powerful infrastructure so we can unravel the mysterious world.